Hi everybody, welcome back to Crafting and Crime Daily. This is my Sunday live where we just have some coffee and we chit chat about the week that was that will never get back. Lisa and Silver Stitches are here. Welcome, welcome. Thank you guys for coming. I you guys put a smile on my face when I opened the app this morning. There you were and I miss you guys. I haven't heard from you since uh what's it been? Wednesday. <laughs> Hi, Mickey. Hello, hello. So today is an iced coffee day. Oh my God. It has been in the 80s this week. I had to turn the air conditioning on. Had to do it. My sister's like, I can't breathe because she can never breathe. There's always a reason. This time it was uh, too much wind blowing pollen into the house, I guess. I don't know. She's allergic to everything. Hi, Dawn. Hello, hello. So happy to see you guys today. I have so much to talk about. First of all, Timu got me. We, we, got, we had a Timu week. <laughs> Mickey's like, again with the Timu? Yes. Diane, good morning. Good morning. There's Joanna. Good morning. Hello, everybody. So this week I worked on several, there's Tia and Sarah. Oh, the bus pulled up. Hello, ladies. I'm doing my Friday dance on Sunday because this is a special day for me. I'm just, I'm just having a great time today. I did my hair. I shaved my legs. All for you guys. Glitter angels. Hello. So I've been working on the Afghan cat. I've got the first row done on the bottom and then I've got, I'm working on, the rug is done and now I'm going up the table. Um, so that's where I am on that. And then um, part two of Bag of Day Crochet, uh, her crochet along. I finished the second video in the crochet along. I will show you where I'm at. Hi, Jerry. Good morning, everybody. Oh, I wanted to get your opinion on one of them because it's kind of looking kind of funky. But anyway, <laughs> it'll all come out in the end. So I'm doing it, of course, because, you know me, I'm always extra. I'm doing two of them instead of one. Hi, Lynn. Uh, Joanna says, I'm accessorizing my patio. Richard is coming for vacation on May 2nd. <gasps> can't wait okay, you guys got to do a live stream together because that's just going to be hilarious so here is uh this is through rose um oh gosh i don't want to pull this out through row 22 i think one through 22 of the shawl i don't want to drop my l's let me see if this is the front no that's the back here's the front all right, so there's the first one. This is the one I'm going to give away. You guys, look how adorable that is. Let me tell you, these puff stitches here were a pain in the butt, but they're done. So I am going to have to block it a little bit, but look how pretty this is turning out. Gorgeous. Hi, Sue. Dawn is here. Everybody's here. Silver Stitches says, I did a thing today I had not done for a while this week and feel somewhat as if I accomplished something. Well, do tell Silver Stitches because, you know, <laughs> inquiring minds want to know what she did this week. Do we all need to do it? Anyway, so the uh, same thing on the purple one. The purple one is for my friend Crafts with Crashly because she wanted a shawl and she likes purple. But it's gone, it's gone into this other color and it did it like halfway through a row and I don't want to do the row again because it's those puff stitches. But it looks okay, doesn't it? I mean, I think it looks okay. Like it started halfway through, so you can see it right there, the puff stitches went into the blue. But you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I'm not, not going to take it out and redo it. Anyway, so that's the two. I think there's three three or four more videos she's going to release on the rest of the crochet along, but that's all up to date. That's 22 rows each for that. Okay. 
So if you guys, if you guys want to get in on winning that pink shawl, uh, that's going to be a member and Patreon only giveaway that I do once I finish it, which will be probably in another month or so. So you got to join and become a member or a Patreon. So I also, I told you I did a thing with Timu. So um, <laughs> we'll get to that. But this week, I've got some uh, Crashly release papers coming out. Let me show you. I don't know what the final ones look like. Here's one of them. It's going to be this one here. And which I did a long time ago. This one, the um, night, what do they call it? Well, that looks weird on camera, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, the uh, Northern Lights and this Moonlight one. That will be out this week at Crafts with Crashly. Who's excited? Uh, Don says, Tia, I hope you're exhausted for a good reason. Well, do tell. Okay, here's here's Silver, silver I can't talk today. Silver Stitch's confession of what she did. Let's take a look. Oh, no, I don't want to leave. I'm not leaving. What has she done? I have done some hate. Cross stitching will post progress on the page. Also spent the whole morning writing and knocked out 2000 words, which has me made feel good. Silver stitches guys. If you don't know, she does fan fiction and she's a pretty good writer. So uh, she shared hers with me. If you want her to share some of her work with you, I'm sure she'll be, she'd love to do that. So I, I think I showed you, I haven't done any lately, but I did start the second leg of the moose. The moose now has, two legs so and i am actually working on a different cross stitch in the bedroom a brand new one it's um it's a gnome of course it's a gnome <laughs> for joanna and she's like oh well joanna you were had a gift membership i don't know how long that um membership the gift memberships last but i think they give you an option at the end to become a member i'm not sure how that works Fan fiction on which subject? Um, Silver Stitches, you'll have to answer that question. Fan fiction. It's like love story stuff, you know. Good stuff. The good knee knocking stuff. Well, not the knee knocking stuff, but you know. <laughs> I'll let her tell you. <laughs> Is Tia doing too much dating? Oh, do tell, Tia. Do tell. <laughs> I have a funny story. Pride, oh, Pride and Prejudice. Yes, that's right. She does uh, fan fiction for Pride and Prejudice. I got to blow my nose. Sorry, guys. I'm going to mute. Oh, gosh. Tia said, oh, no. Sue, I was catfished. Someone posted an old pic of themselves and the man that showed up was very, very decrepit, much older. And I got creeped out. <gasps> no way. Oh, my God. Tammy, good morning. And Silver Stitches says Jane Austen's famous story. All right. Here's my catfish story for the week. So I think on Wednesday I told you I was talking to this uh, a new guy. Gorgeous, gorgeous guy. Like, let me show you his picture. I don't mind showing you his picture because it ain't him. Um, hi, Deborah. So, um, but, you know, it started out where he's like, he's a financial guy. He's a financial planner or some, some financial career. I, I don't know finance, but, um, you know, he's talking about that and what he wants in a woman. What do I want in a man? And, you know, the usual chit chat. And uh, I'm thinking, this guy's really cute. And, you know, we, we were having a nice conversation. So I give him my number. So we start texting back and forth. And I'm like, I can't believe my luck. This guy is gorgeous. Drop dead gorgeous. All right, where's his picture? Let me find it. Um, I haven't deleted it yet. <laughs> oh, God. Um, he said his name was Lucas. Hold on, Lucas. Let me show you what Lucas looks like. Oh, I'll just, I think I have his picture in here. It's pretty funny. Um, like, he is adorable. Like, look how cute this guy is. So stinking cute. There's another picture of him. So, 
I, you know, we're, we're talking back and forth and things are starting to not add up, you know, like I said something to him and he totally, he wasn't getting my sense of humor, you know, it, like every time I would make a joke, it would just fall flat. He didn't understand the joke. And I'm thinking, how does he not understand this joke? I mean, it's, I don't get it, you know? <laughs> so I'm thinking, what is he, 12? How does he not know this joke? So yeah, exactly, Joanna. So I said, you know, we need to talk on the phone. It's Friday night. Let's talk on the phone. And uh, he's like, sure, call me anytime. You can call me anytime. Call me. As long as I'm not working, you can call me. So I said, well, I'm going to walk the dogs. I'll call you about eight o'clock. And um, <laughs> so he's so he texts me back. He goes, that's great. I'll be here, uh, you know. And that was like 30 minutes before eight o'clock. So I walk the dogs. I come back. It's eight o'clock. I call the guy. No answer. And I'm like, what the hell? You, you know, you said it was a good time to call you and you're not answering. So I figure, well, he'll call me back. No, he doesn't call me back. So I don't hear from him again that Friday night. Like, what the hell? <laughs> and um, could he have fallen asleep? Uh, come on. Aren't you looking forward to this phone call with this woman you've been chatting with all week? Um, apparently not, because <laughs> he tried to claim he fell asleep. So I'm thinking about this during the night, Friday night, going into Saturday, middle of the night. I'm thinking about this and I'm like, this is not adding up. And then I thought, how can I check this out? So I took his photograph and I reversed image search. You know how you do a reverse image search on the on the painting so you can make sure they're not copyrighted. Well, I did a reverse image search with his photo and I find out that it's this male model on Instagram <laughs> who's got thousands of gorgeous pictures, like with his shirt off. He's got a beautiful hairy chest. He's, you know, a gorgeous guy, but also clearly from the photos, you can tell that, you know, he's gay. <laughs> he's not even into women, this guy. <laughs> so, so the guy tells me, oh, I fell asleep. So I'm thinking, you know, I'm going to, I'm just going to, I'm going to play with him a little bit here. And I said, really, you fell asleep at eight o'clock on a Friday night when you knew I was going to call, you fell asleep. So, um, so I said, well, what is your last name? And he, he, he didn't answer me right away. Um, <laughs> like a job interview. So he doesn't answer me right away. Finally, he comes back and he gives me some bullshit name. And uh, I don't think, well, it took you long enough to think of that one. <laughs> Joanna says, I knew what Gadar went up the second I saw him. Exactly. <laughs> I kept thinking, how in the world does this good looking guy like me? I mean, really, you know, that's what I'm thinking. No good looking guy. Anybody that looks that good. He ain't after me, not, not going to assure you. So, so then I said, you're, are you related to, and then I mentioned the guy's Instagram account. I said, are you related to so-and-so? Never heard from him again, not a peep. And so then I go on the silver singles site because I'm going to report him because you can report a potential scammer. His account's gone, deleted. <laughs> He tucked his tail between his legs and ran. <laughs> Should have asked him if he ever thought of modeling. Oh, that's so funny. So it turns out the guy that's in this picture, he's an artist. He's a photographer. He takes these amazing photographs. He travels all over the world. He's a beautiful man, beautiful man, but not, not straight. <laughs> he is not writing to me from Colorado, I assure you. <laughs> So anyway, that's the end of that story, but I had fun with it. It was fun. At least I caught on before, you know, cause, cause I, I thought, you know, what is wrong with this guy? He's not getting my humor. And I'm, now I'm wondering who the heck was I talking to? Was it like some guy in a nursing home and the nurse turns his lights out at eight o'clock and on a Friday night or, you know, like what's going on here? So <laughs> 
Tia says, Tammy, I had to send out a bat signal and get rescued, but she had to literally show up and help me ease out. Oh, it was that bad. Oh, no. <laughs> we got to get more of a, 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 a thing set up when you go out with these guys. Mm. You've had some good looking guys like typically the good looking guys do not like me. The good looking white guys do not like me. The good looking black ones do, but not the white guys. They want the spelt, the girl that's climbing, hiking up the mountain and, you know, lifting weights. And that's not me. Anyway, let's get on to Timu. <laughs> Enough about dating. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> because, uh, hi, Bonnie. Welcome, welcome. So I do want to give you a little bit about the show updates. Um, Monday, Friday, there was no court in the chad daybell case so you are up to date on the testimony in the chad daybell case monday there is no court in the arizona rancher case so on tuesday morning you're going to get all caught up i'm going to give you everything that's happened in the arizona rancher case i've been listening to it all weekend it is interesting um they put a what do they call those guys that um firearm examiner was on the stand. So, and he had some interesting things to say. So I'll get, I'll get all that to you um, on Tuesday. So that's, you're all, you're going to be all caught up. That's where we're at. Monday is the Trump case. Oh boy. I don't know how I can watch Chad Daybell and Donald Trump at the same time, but I'm going to figure out a double screen or something. I, need to do this. I already listened to it on 1.75 playback because it's just, your ears get used to it, that speed, and it doesn't bother me. So uh, Mickey says, I used to be honest. You don't look like your photo or it's a younger one. I'll call you out as a liar. Pick up and leave. <laughs> I just had to play with the guy, you know. Are you related to that guy on Instagram that has all these, like this exact picture was on this guy's, on this guy's Instagram site. So anyway, hold on. I got to blow my nose again. Sorry about that. So, yes, if you guys have progress pictures for your works in progress from this week, please put them in the Crafting Journey Facebook group and I will show them off. So last Sunday, I left early to go to the baseball game. Oh, my God. I had so much fun. But let me tell you, this is not Major League Baseball. It is not. This uh, the home team scored six runs in the first inning. I'm like, what? This just doesn't happen in base in a major league. But anyway, um, but um, I don't know if Trump is it Trump in state court or I believe it's a state court case. But you're right; it may not be. I haven't heard any thing from Court TV or Long Crime that it's going to be covered in the state court. I don't know. Or if the court has their own cameras because, you know, more and more today that they, they do. Hi, Rhonda. Hello. Hello. Um, but if I can get some, if I can find maybe through at Reddit or someplace, sometimes I can find someone that's giving updates, um, you know, through Twitter or something like that. I'll see if I can find um, updates on the Trump trial because... I would just love to see that man go to jail. I really would. Yeah, so I had a good time at the game. But let me tell you, $6 for a soda. $6. I almost had to take out a loan. Cindy, good morning. Um, Yeah. And I couldn't eat because remember I had the dental surgery. So everybody's eating popcorn and peanuts and ice cream. And when I go to a ball game, I like to have a hot dog. So I was jonesing for a hot dog. But I thought, no, I... I just couldn't eat because of my mouth. So I didn't partake, but I just, I had a good time. I, it was a beautiful stadium. The seats were nice. It wasn't crowded. The day was gorgeous. Um, and they're back in town this next weekend, I think. Maybe I'll go to another game. We'll think. We'll see. Joanna says, I think it's state court. Um, yeah. I think a state court too, but it doesn't mean they always have cameras in there. And if it's a state, if it's the courtroom's own cameras, like it is in the Daybell case, oh God. All right. So let me show you my T-Moo haul. So um, 
I like to shop. When I break up with a guy, I like to shop. <laughs> and August 1st, I placed the Timo order after the breakup with Keith. Anyway, here's what I bought. <laughs> This is a little thing to hold your water in, which is so cool. Hi, Gail. Right now, I'm just using these two glasses, these two cups. But in, in the top, it has places you can put your paint. I probably won't use that too much. But, you know, I don't know. But in here, it has, you know, you can have the wash and the rinse, and you can put your brushes in the holes. How cool is that? Yeah. And none of this stuff costs very much because, you know, it's it's team. <laughs> they don't charge you very much for this stuff. Then um, I got this little set. Look how cute this set is, guys. It's all metallic and fluorescent watercolor. Isn't that neat? So some of them fluorescent, some of them pearlescent. Uh, some of them metallic, which I love to play around with these, especially when I'm doing flowers. Rhonda's here. Everybody's saying hi to Rhonda. Oh my gosh. Retail therapy works. It does. It does. But not when you don't get the products for two weeks. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So when Joanna was on the show, she was talking about these, uh, this particular brand of pencils, color pencils, because we were coloring, adult coloring. And they're called Brillfooter, Brillfooter, something like that. Um, and so I looked up on Timo that the oil pencils are actually cheaper on Amazon than are on Timu, but oh, they're not expensive, Gail. I don't remember what I paid for them, but these were not expensive at all. No. But they're really little. They're like, you know, like not even half pans. They're more like quarter pans, but I love the, the container that it came in. I really do. So I need to swatch those. Maybe we'll do that Wednesday. We'll swatch all the colors. So I found the Brute Funer, Brute Funer, whatever that is, watercolor pencils, and I placed an order. So I I had to take the uh, outer part off that has the, the name of the company. But this is the same company that Joanna had mentioned has the beautiful oil pencils. Well, now I have watercolor pencils. I hope they work good because I need a really good set of watercolor pencils. Sorry about that. But there's 180 here, guys. Look at these. Look how gorgeous these are. Let me see if I can get them out without spilling them all. Look, every shade, color, variation. Isn't that cool? So on Wednesday show, we're going to play around with the watercolor pencils. Look, gold, silver. Oh, where's the pinks? There's the pinks. There's the pinks. And some more pinks. Oh, I love it. Can you explain watercolor pencils? So when you have a watercolor pencil, you can either you can either dip the tip of the watercolor pencil in water and then go onto your page, or you can just go, you know, you can color on your page and then go over it with a, a watercolor brush. Either way. I like to add like a little line to my some of my shading and then go over it with the a fine brush just to get some shading in on some of the art. Um, but for $40, that's a pretty decent watercolor pencil set. But on Wednesday, we're going to see if they work. <laughs> Hopefully they do. And I love that they have all these different shades of green. Oh, here's the name of that company on the pencil because I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Here, hold on. So... Brute, Brute Funner. Yeah, there's the name of the company. So I, I, you know, when she talked to, to us about the oil set for coloring, I thought, well, that would be nice, but I'm, I'd rather have the watercolor set. So 
Rhonda recently discovered watercolor pencils, love them. And then when you're done with your painting, you could go back with a watercolor pencil and add some detail to it, which, and I, when I'm doing my watercolors, what I've been doing is just with a regular, really light pencil, I'll pencil whatever it is I'm going to paint, I'll pencil a drawing of it. Um, that I usually try to erase most of, so you don't see the lines. But with the with the watercolor, I don't care if it's going to be a line or not. So, yeah. So I, this was my uh, breakup purchase. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I have never had anything ceramic for my watercolor, so I wanted a ceramic dish, and I got one to mix colors in. These ceramic dishes are not cheap. Goodness gracious. But um, so I have a ceramic dish now. Hi, Robin. Hello. Hello. How are you guys? So uh, I'm going to leave them here in this room because Wednesday I'll, I'll remove the diamond painting. We'll play around with swatching some watercolor and seeing how the pencils work. But I think this thing is really adorable. <laughs> for rinsing your brush and stuff. Anyway, that's the show. <laughs> Sorry, I got my iced coffee here today. This is a mug that I bought at the retreat like three years ago. What is that, Rhonda? What does that mean that you typed there? Yeah, it's a ceramic mixing plate. Tammy says, Rhonda, I need a team of buddy, but I shop, they pay. Shopping is hard. I need to get paid. <laughs> okay. So I need your opinion, guys. I'm having lunch with a friend today. Headband number one. I got to know which, which headband I, I need to go with. Okay. Head, headband number one with the pearls or... Headband number two. This one says, this one says casual. This one says, take me to McDonald's. So this is headband number two, which is just the gray. And then this one says, I don't know. <laughs> take me to the drive-thru. I don't know what it says. This is the, like the sparkly one. Okay. So which, which headband should I wear? The pearls. Oh. Uh, uh, okay, I will. I will uh, check my Instagram, Joanna. Dip ran across the keyboard. Is that what that was? <laughs> Middle one. Jerry likes the first one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so sparkly. This is the rhinestone one here. This is the, you know, sweatshirt one, the one that says, take me to the McDonald's drive through <laughs> Take me. <laughs> and this one says, I just got done doing a live on Insta, on uh, StreamYard with my friends. I like this one, right? This one? Okay. Y'all want this one? The Grace, the, the McDonald's drive through one? <laughs> I'm wearing this. This this is a long shirt with um, sweatpants. Not sweatpants. No, <laughs> leggings. What do I say? Sweatpants. Um, the pearl. I think the pearls, right? The one I'm wearing now. Okay. All right, we're going with the pearls because it's like, it doesn't say take me. It just says take me to lunch, right? Take me to lunch. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> You've made a decision. Oh, Bonnie likes this one. It's it's literally gray, like a sweatpant gray. It's a great casual one though. Trust me, and I'm a headband expert. <laughs> the middle one matches the outfit. Oh, I see what you're saying. We could wear them both. Oh, well, anyway. We'll see. <laughs> but I got my deodorant on. I wore my deodorant today. Anyway. Uh, 
Let's see what y'all. Oh, one more thing I wanted to show you guys before the live today. Silver Stitches is my parents treated us to a posh afternoon tea on Friday. I gave, I got all made up for that. Now I had a dress on first. I thought, oh, I'm going to wear this cute little dress. Nope, because I'm not a dress person. I'm really not. <laughs> Tia will tell you, I'm not a dress person. Uh, yes, Tammy, I have a lunch date today. I have a lunch date. I'm going out for lunch with a friend. So, yeah. Anyway, want to start a fight? Ask an opinion never fails. <laughs> I know. So I was watching Bagaday before the live started today. I'm obsessed with Bagaday. I just love her stuff. Anyway, she was showing some new yarn from this company over in the UK. Silver Stitches, you've got to see this company. I don't know. Silver Stitches, do you crochet or knit? I'm going to share my screen with you. And I thought we would look at this. Oh, my new jumper dresses are in the closet. Yeah. Um, I in my room that I'd have to go get them. I did buy a couple of jumpers to wear during the summer. They're really cool. They like, like you just put it on and like awkward to go to the bathroom in, but they're cute jumpers. Anyway, uh, who is this guy? Some guy is dragging a picnic table somewhere. Okay. That was interesting. Do I have an emergency? <laughs> Yeah, it's called a lift. Go out the back door and get a lift. Um, no, I don't need an emergency plan with this person. Yeah. 33 people watching. Can I get 33 thumbs up? How cool would that be? Anyway. Um, okay, so I wanted to show you this uh, yarn site that she found in the UK. This It's hand-dyed yarn. DK weight, these big mega roll, they're gorgeous. I wanted to look at it with you guys because, you know, we like to shop on the weekends. So I am not buying any of it because it's, first of all, I have to convert the pounds to the, well, I'll, leave, I'll let Silver Stitches do it. Convert the pounds to the dollars. And this is the middle of the month. I don't buy anything in the middle of the month. So because I'm usually broke. Anyway, um, let me find this. Okay. The company's called Puff Flower. Look at this. Oh my God. The stuff she has is gorgeous. Look at this. Look at the birthday cake. I'm not crazy about the green, but look at the Christmas one. Oh, so pretty. I like this sheep one too. That's neat. This one puts these, this is all hand dyed. She puts these together. They're gorgeous. Oh, look at this Easter one. OMG, that's pretty. This one's pretty. This one's pretty. Oh my God, they're all beautiful. Am I sharing them with you? Okay, I just want to make sure you guys can see. Let me just check back, make sure you can see. I'll put myself inside so you can see even bigger. Deborah, you're doing the shawl. That's awesome. I'll show you again where I'm at with that. I finished the first two videos. They do look like big cookies, but we call them cakes in the yarn industry. We call them cakes. Um, love hand dyed yarn. Me too. And this, oh, this stuff is beautiful. Where did they go? Where did they go? Where did they go? Here they are. Oh, they are so pretty. Like, $39.99 for, that's in pounds. Look at this purple one. Oh my God, is that gorgeous. That is stunning. The bats and pumpkin. Oh, so neat. I don't know what sh the shipping to US would cost either, but... Look at this pink and turquoise. Oh my God. I love it. My two favorite colors. Look at that. We got to, we got to go. Oh, let's go into this one here. 
Oh, I guess you just add it to the basket. Anyway, I like this one too, the grape one. Where did it go? Let's go back to the yarn cakes. <laughs> oh, these are so cool. This mint green one is super cool looking. Look at this one. Oh, the Christmas cake. Oh, that is so pretty. I do like this, this one here, this sheep one. I think if I was going to buy one, I'd get that one. Look at that. Oh, that is pretty. That is so pretty. I like those colors. It's like a pale yellow, a, a white, gray, black. That's beautiful. I thought it'll make something really, really gorgeous. But they're like three weights. Look at this one. Pink and 1,500 meters. That's a lot of yarn. But look how pretty. You can make a, like a really pretty sweater with that. Oh. Oh my God, I need to, I'm going to just put this site away until the end of the month and then maybe order one or two. I don't know. Cause I want to show you guys. I really think the sheep cake is one of the ones I'm going to order when I do. Oh, look at this pink flamingo. Could you just die? That is gorgeous. Oh, beautiful. Oh my God. I can't decide. Valentine yarn cakes. Oh my gosh. Pink rainbow. There's too many choices. Oh, this one is beautiful. This light pink. Oh, that's pretty. So I signed up for their newsletter and I'll see if they have any specials and if they do, maybe I'll order a couple of them. We'll see. But, oh, so pretty. Where did my stream yard go? Okay. <laughs> Stop. Remove. <laughs> anyway, one pin, one canvas, one tray only. There's Barda. Look to the left and click US. Oh, serious? Look. Let me, oh, let me go back there and try that real quick. I'll just, because I want to see what 39 converts to. $39. Look to the left. Oh, U.S. Duh, U.S. dollars. U.S. All right, I clicked it. $41.08. Okay, that's not terrible. It's, it's, it, well, it's it's kind of expensive, but it's beautiful yarn. Anyway, okay, $41 for that pink cake. By the way, hello, Berta. Nice to have you. <laughs> you are a terrible influence, Rebecca. I started with the Mandela cake. They found a cotton, Karen cotton ripple cake I love, so I'm doing one of each. Oh, you are? Oh, see, I... <laughs> Not only am I influencing you to make one shawl, you're making two. Anyway, I am, I'm done with the first two videos. The third video comes out tomorrow. So here is the, this is the one rows one through 22. And this is one of the ones, I, this is the one I will be giving away to a member or Patreon. If you become a member or Patreon between now and the time I give it away, you'll go into the drawing. So, yeah, and I've got two of those, but the second one is going to Crashly, so. Oh, and Joanna's Christmas blanket. That's, yeah, I'm working on that one too. And Birdas. Birdas is almost done. I've got to do the, try to figure out what I want to do for the border. Um, Dabra, yeah, the Rose, Tw <laughs> the second video came out. She's doing, she's releasing a video every five days, Debra. So she has one she released on the fifth. That's rows one through 12. And then rows 11 through 22 is video number two that she released on the 10th. So tomorrow she'll release the third video because she's already filmed them all. So 
Joe Ennis says, I'm like pretty Baruka from Willy Wonka. I want it now. I know. <laughs> so I am diamond painting my Afghan cat. So I was looking at this Afghan cat. He is not on a couch. I thought it was on a couch. This cat is on a dresser with the, I have the drawers pulled out. I don't know if you guys noticed that. So on those drawer pulls, those the round sections on the drawer pulls, I want to do those in a metallic, maybe a, a, a bronze metallic, maybe. I'm not sure. I haven't really decided. Pretty cup. Yeah, Rhonda, I got this at, there was a lady selling cups a couple of years ago at the retreat. She wasn't there last year, but she had these amazing cups. And I'm trying to get Crashly to make more mugs because she had some beautiful ones. Beautiful things are worth the wait. That's right. Yeah, I thought it was a couch too, but it, it's not. If you look, the cat is sitting in these drawers that are pulled out, which is kind of funny. Eventually, I'm going to make my way up to where the crochet, the knitting needles are. And I want to change them to crochet hooks, but I haven't done, I haven't thought that one through yet, but I am going to change them. Oh, maybe I can see it on this one here. Hold on. Yeah, there's two knitting needles here that I could change to crochet hooks. And then there's this tiny, there's this teeny little tiny thing down here where my finger is. And when I diamond painted it, I'm like, what in the world is that? I didn't know what it was. And so I stood up and I turned the, the, the light off, the light pad off. And I looked down at it. It's a little mouse. <laughs> it's super cute. But I didn't see it until I like backed away from the, you know how you don't always see detail until you back away. Or just add a crochet hook. I could do that too. I don't knit at all though. You, I, you know, I have knitting needles. I've got some beautiful knitting needles that people sent me. I just, I find it, I don't know. It's not as satisfying to me as the crochet. I don't know why, but I think because it's the thing that Joanna was saying that pretty things take time. And when you're knitting, it takes a really long time. When you're crocheting, it's like all of us, like those shawls are gorgeous. And I can see that already. But um, that would have taken me forever to knit, <laughs> I'm sure. Anyway, do we have 33 thumbs up yet? What have you missed? Oh, my God, silver. I gave away so much yarn while you were gone. I gave so much away. Sue loves to knit. All right, let's go to the Facebook group. I hope you guys put your, your progress pictures up there because we're going to take a look and see what everybody's posted. Okay. Uh, where is it? Okay. Let's share the screen. And we're going to go to the Facebook group. Facebook share. We got to get T off there. Um, all right, groups. Groups, groups, corrupting journey. Okay, I just, I just just crashly. I don't know what she was posting, but all right, what do we got here? All right, there's the registration for the Great Escape 2024. Don't forget about that. That starts August first. I gotta get with their sponsor and see what canvas we're doing. Um, oh, look at this bouquet, the zinnias. Oh, I just love this painting. It is beautiful. I think it was sold out when, the last time I looked at it. Oh, look, she's got my umbrellas on there. You guys, look. Oh, my God, we have to do like a deep dive here. Hold on. Look, there's my umbrellas. <laughs> they look pretty good on a diamond painting, don't they? I love that. Thank you for purchasing those. That's super cool. Okay. I know somebody purchased the frog too, Francesca. There's Dawn's. Oh, so beautiful. I need to do some diamond paint, some flowers. Those are gorgeous. 
Silver stitches. Oh my gosh, would you look at this? Holy moly. Tube and cross stitching. Wow. Good job. Good job. That is a bright red or like a red orange. Wow. Okay, I think I'm going through them twice now. Okay, very nice silver stitches. Good job. You are only got three years left on it. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist that one. This is the full picture of what she's doing. So she's just got like this little smidge over here. There's that bright orange that she started. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at all the burnt. Oh, my God. I need to watercolor paint this. I really do. Look at all the birds, the different colors of the birds. This is so inspirational. Um, I need to like download this image. <laughs> Hold on. How do I down copy image, save image as let's save the image because I'm going to use this to do some birds. Water color birds. Birds. Okay. Yeah. How cool is that? Put your pictures in there if you want me to show them off. And I will refresh the page and we will do that. Um, okay. Rhonda, what has Rhonda got here? What is Rhonda working on this week? A new study shows that people who have a ridiculous amount of art and craft supplies live longer than those who point it out. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so true. So true. There's Mia, Mia Warming Hansen's picture. She's got a head full of yarn. How funny is that? I love it. Just love it. She's crocheting the world there or knitting. And there's my Francesca papers. Oh my God, this is so insanely silly this <laughs> I thought you know I need to do more Francesca drawings we need to like do Francesca in some different poses and maybe Wednesday we'll we'll do another Francesca painting we'll see because <laughs> you know Francesca's got a life of her own now look at the little cutie from last week Tucker where's Angie okay let me refresh, see if anybody else has posted. If you are not a member of this Facebook group and you would like to become one, you just have to answer a couple of questions. It's free and you can post any craft that you want. Oh, Sue, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my goodness. That's cool. Very nice. Okay. Okay, we're back to the zinnias and the rain. Oh, I love those release papers. Okay. Stop sharing. Okay. That's it for this week. I think. Where's my stream yard? There we go. I'm back. I'm back. My sister is really good now she is just she, my, my sister I, I wish I had her personality sometimes she nothing bothers my sister she stopped smoking it didn't bother her a bit she just stopped smoking the doctor says no more carbs no more carbs I'm like what do you mean no more carbs I'm like hanging on to, by my fingernails because I need carbs like I am the, I gotta have carbs She's like, no, no more carbs. I'm like, it's Friday. We got a pizza. <laughs> I made homemade pizza on Friday. The crust was homemade. It was so delicious. Oh my God. It was, we're still eating it because I made too much. Yeah, way, way too much. Um, <laughs> and I need to like, I got to figure out how to, like I have a rolling pin, but I couldn't get it 
thin enough. I, want, I gotta consult um, Joanna. Joanna's our resident chef du jour. So <laughs> speaking of chef, where's Lee? We didn't get no snacks today. I apologize, guys. No snacks. Joanna says we outlive them because we won't let them toss out our stuff. Oh, no. Listen, if a hoarder's episode came in here, I'd be in trouble. Can you see him now? Look, Rebecca, you don't really need this. It's just a box. It's just, what are you going to, because, because I might need this someday for something. You never know. It's, look, look, it's, I might, look, I'm going to put this stuff in it. Look, see, I'm using it. Okay. You can't take it. <gasps> There's Rochelle. Good morning, Rochelle. She posted a video of progress. I need to take some pictures when I get home. I will go back and look at your video. So let's find her video. Let's go back to the Facebook group. We will refresh the page. And Here is Bling It Up's video. Oh my gosh. I'm loving that sparkle filter. <laughs> That's so pretty. So it's a Dakota Detweiler, whatever it is. But look at the, sh it says there's a sword there. Oh my God. Look how pretty. And let me tell you, when Rochelle blings, Rochelle blings, she is not playing. No Francesca papers, but that's okay. <laughs> look how pretty. Oh, it's the Libra. No wonder. It, oh, look how beautiful. Stunning. Okay, we're all jealous. <laughs> very, very pretty. Anybody else post since... Uh, Oh my gosh, Rochelle, you're doing a fantastic job. Yes, you are. Okay. And we are back to StreamYard. Okay. I don't know. I've never done yet. Yeah, those I, I knew they were Crashly papers. Yeah. I've never done a Dakota Detweiler. I've just her stuff just does not interest me. Unfortunately. I just no. Nope, nope, nope. And I have enough to diamond paint. That is for sure. So I need to contact the sponsor and figure out what we're painting for the Great Escape. We got to find out. Anyway. It's a cherry blossom tree. Cool. Oh, her new one is a cherry blossom tree. Is that on Diamond Art Club? Yeah, that's Diamond Art Club. Did she have one this past weekend? I don't even know. Let me look on Insta. Let me look on Instagram. Oh, okay. Um, 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 um. I'm just looking at um, Joanna. <laughs> Joanna, you are so funny. Oh, my God. She is living it up at the beach. I w Did you guys tune into Joanna's channel when she covered the, the um, oh, my gosh. She covered the eclipse. This picture, like that is the most beautiful. I need to paint that landscape. Look at the sky in the background and the seagrass. Is that a lighthouse back there? Too? No, that's just the wood planks. Like that, that needs to be dime, not diamond painted, but um, watercolor painted. I don't need the people. <laughs> I just want the, the beach in the background. <laughs> 
epic fail. Oh no, listen, it would, you couldn't see it everywhere. So it, with here, it just got really dark, not dark, dark, but like 6 PM darkish, like where the sun hasn't really set darkish. Like you can still see everything outside <laughs> kind of darkish. And it did get a little bit cooler for a few minutes, but I, it didn't interrupt my nap time. I can tell you that. I still took my nap that day. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'll just fall asleep while it's dark here. Tammy saw it was so much fun. See, it wasn't a fail. You'll send me a blank picture of the dude. Please do, Joanna, because I think that would be the coolest seascape to do that. I don't usually do seascape, but... But you see what I'm saying? The, the the sky, look at the sky in the background and the seagrass and yeah, that wouldn't be hard to do. Your lie was a mess. No, it wasn't. It was not. Not the part I saw. I think I was watching like when you went over to pet the horses and stuff. Yeah. John and the dogs were hilarious. <laughs> Not that I don't love you and John. I mean, I can paint you guys, but you'll look like you'll look like um, Francesca if I paint you in watercolor. You'll have boobs with tassels <laughs> in front of the beachscape. <laughs> I don't do humans very well. <laughs> they turn out looking like frogs. Those were bushy horses. I know. Silver says, I've seen an eclipse when I was much younger. Everything was so eerie and still. I will never forget that experience. When they had one seven years ago, I was down in Florida. I remember that one because I was working and we just all came outside and watched it for a couple minutes and went back. I didn't think it was a, that big of a deal, to be honest with you. I really didn't. So didn't leave a lasting impression on me. Did you guys have you like this is a question for my video game players. Did you ever play a game called Fallout? Fall the Fallout Shelter game. It's super cute. It's it's like these little people and you put them in rooms and they're all in a Fallout shelter and yeah, they have different rooms and you put a mommy and a daddy in there and then they they procreate and they have babies and they have careers where they go to work and then they fight uh, the people that are out on the surface. You never heard of it. Really? Let me see if I can find maybe. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking about it because on. Yeah, on Amazon, they've got a, a series now called Fallout and it's based on that game and it's. It's crazy how you think something in cartoon form is really entertaining, but then when you put it, when you humanize it, it's just gross and disgusting because they're killing each other and stabbing each other, which you do in the cartoon part of the game, but it's weird. So <laughs> let me see if I can find it. Because I loved that game, but I was having a hard time getting through that show. Fallout. Season one now available. Yeah, I didn't, I don't think I really cared for it. But let me see if I can find what the game looked like so I can show you. So they're talking about the series here. <laughs> oh, God. And you would collect weapons and do all that stuff. Yeah. But it was a fun, cute little game. Fallout Shelter was the name of the game. See if I can find it. Oh, here, Fallout Shelter. He puts you in a vault. This is the this is the game, Fallout Shelter. So they have this series on Amazon based on this game, which is really weird. <laughs> it's very very weird. See there. They're going to work in the game, and then you have to build things, and yeah. So, 
this this series tries to follow that, but it's like to the letter, like they're <laughs> they're wearing the same uniforms. It's just weird. It's really, really weird. <laughs> I did get a giggle from the eclipse, Joanna. Very gory and bloody. I thought so too, Diana. But the game. But when you think about the game, it was a gory game because they, you'd have to go out on the surface and search these buildings, and you'd get into fights, and you'd have to shoot the people and collect the what you know. So, what I thought was a really fun game when it translated to real actors it was very bloody <laughs> so i didn't really like it real life is always much more intense than a game i'd just rather play the game to be honest with you and it's such an old game now it's so dated it's not even entertaining that much anymore i actually went back on pal world and rescued my bag because a lot of you know the last time i played it live i lost my bag for the like 10th time so I just ended the game. So I start. I restarted the game yesterday. Went back and got my bag full of all my stuff. Um, yeah. So apocalyptic is scary. It is. It is. Yeah. It was. It was just weird. So you've got mails. Oh, Crocs are on sale. That's my mail. <laughs> Final call. Crocs Club up to fifty percent off. Plus an extra 30%. Oh, no. I don't need any more Crocs. I only have one pair. And that's all I need, to be honest with you. Now, Tia. Tia, how many pairs of Crocs do you have? Like 10, 12 pairs? You've got like them every color. Oh, which one did you decide to buy, Mickey? Mickey has made a decision. Stop what you're doing. Mickey has made a decision. We have to find out. If anyone has Peacock, watch a Apple Never Fall. Okay, that's a good one. I will, I'll remember that. Rhonda says Tia doesn't have enough. <laughs> you know, they make doggy crocs. Oh, no. Can you see my little dogs? My little dogs. My big dog in her, in her crocs. Yeah, that would be. Uh... You'll find out when I unbox it. You never played Fallout, Jerry? But, uh, but you like the show? Fala, it was a cute... I, I'm trying to think of if it was on here or... I want to say I played it on the Switch. Let me just look real quick. This thing goes to sleep and I have to do a hard reset on it sometimes. I don't know why. It's 12.03, you guys! Okay, let me see. I think I played it on, I don't think I played it on Xbox, but I might have. 11 pairs. Oh, I was close. I said 10. I was close. All right, let's see if I have it on here. I don't, I don't know where I was playing that at. Maybe it was on Xbox. Let me see if they have Fallout. No, I don't need to know that. Okay, now, now I, I, I used to play it all the time. Your son plays it on Xbox, so maybe it is Xbox. Okay, so you're right, it's Xbox. Can you do it on a regular phone though? You probably, I think I played it on like my regular phone. I bet you it's in the App Store on the iPhone. Fallout Shelter. Let's see, Fallout, Fallout Shelter. Yeah. It's a Bethesda game. Yeah, I'm downloading it. Of course I'm downloading it. Because you will you know what you're going to see me doing tonight? Fallout Shelter. Now, I don't know if I'm playing games tonight. I don't know how long this lunch date's going to last. If it's not, you know, if I have to bail, <laughs> there'll be no problem tonight. We will, uh, I'll be there for game night. If it turns out to be a really cool date and I'm uh, giving this person the grand tour of Wichita, then I don't know if we're going to do a game night. We'll see. Time for leftover chicken parm and pasta. 
Joanna, I'm going to come to vacation at your house because um, this ri is Richard giving you like a menu to cook while he's there <laughs> because you are such a good cook. First of all, if I come, Joanna, you got to make that chicken parm and pasta. You got to make a pie because I want to see you bake pies. I need to come during the holiday so I can help Joanna bake pies. Can you picture Joanna and I in the kitchen baking pies? Oh my God. That would be so much fun. Silver Stitches is having meatballs in pasta tonight. Gail says, my son plays Fallout, which is different than Fallout Shelter. Oh, yeah, it's a different game. I know what you're talking about. There's a different game of Fallout. Yeah. Your son wants you to watch Fallout. I don't know that if you've never played the game that you would get the show. I mean, you might, but it's... The game explains so much. Like, I understood what was going on in the show because I know the game. I know the characters. But uh, she says, I'll bake anything. Oh, we would wreck YouTube. How fun would that be? I'm going to come. We'll stay a week and uh, we'll bake. We'll do YouTube bakes all week. <laughs> I could do my homemade pizza crust one night. We could make the pizza. Joanne could show me how to roll out the dough. Yeah. That would be so much fun. The last time I priced a flight to the East Coast, though, it was the like minimum $400 to fly to the East Coast. Minimum. To fly into like Dulles, which I don't know where I would fly in to get to her, your house, but I would think it would be maybe Dulles. I don't know. Do a bake-off on both channels at the same time. Oh, yeah. Well, I think the last time Joanna and I uh, were together, we we broadcast on both channels. So, yeah, we simulcasted it. What is one of your favorite desserts, Silver Stitches? Now that I am limited on my carbs, I've got to start making stuff that has less carbs. And that's hard. It really is. We can walk dogs on the beach, and there's a ton of rich old men here. There you go. I just need one that's like got one foot on the banana peel <laughs> and the other hand on a will. <laughs> just saying. Okay. Because I know a couple of secret ways to kill them off now based on my uh, crime recaps. There's Visine. There's um, antifreeze. <laughs> oh my God. I need to stop. I can't. <laughs> You guys are all going to be witnesses on the stand. <laughs> Do you know, I have a video on how to make banana bread. I don't know if you guys remember during the pandemic, I came out with some cooking videos. It was when I was in my other house and I had this gorgeous kitchen and I had this whole island that I could film from. And I, it was so much fun. And I did banana bread on one of the, one of the things that I made. And it's, so it's still up on the channel somewhere. Fly into Philly. Okay. Having a trust is much better. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did you hear about the Apple River stabbings? I don't, I saw that that trial was going on and it piqued my interest, but not enough to go see what it was about. There seemed to be a lot of victims in it, but um, I did not follow that one, Rhonda. I'm sorry. Blue crabs and I don't do anything seafood. Mm -hmm. Nope, no seafood. Uh -oh. Suitcases, suitcases. How did suitcases come up? Tammy, what about the suitcases? <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> Tammy? Oh, I can't wait to go try this. I haven't played Fallout in years. Open. Allow fallout shelter. There it is, fallout shelter. And this, I gotta tell you, the, the movie starts the same way, the series, with that little, um, with all this stuff. It's really funny. Oh, accept the terms of service. Okay. Welcome to... <laughs> Welcome to Fallout Shelter. I'm entering the vault. So we have to set up. 
we have to set up a new vault. There's my vault, 228. Create the vault. <laughs> That's my overseer. The vault keeps people safe from the dangers of the wasteland. Okay, well, I'm not going to drag you guys through that one. Your favorite dessert or one of them is pineapple upside down cake, especially fresh from the oven with custard. <gasps> custard. Wait a minute. What is Tom Cruise cake? Hold the fort. What is Tom Cruise cake? You know what my favorite kind of cake to make is? And it weighs about 20 pounds when you get done is hummingbird cake. I made it one time. It was so good. It is my all time favorite kind of cake. Is, have you guys ever had a hummingbird cake? Oh, it's amazing. It's like a carrot cake that's elevated, like elevated. It's so good. Strawberry shortcake is Rhonda's favorite. Oh, I love strawberry shortcake. And strawberry shortcake, you can make a low-carb version. Yeah. So I, I need to look into that. White chocolate coconut cake. So what is it? why is it called Tom Cruise? White chocolate coconut? White chocolate coconut cake. Oh, that sounds really good. You have the secret recipe. Okay. All right, we're all going to Joanna's house and we are going to bake. Yes. Yep. Yep. Carrot cake. Carrot cake is one of my all time favorites. It really is. I just, I, with a good cream cheese icing. Oh, you know, my mom made pineapple upside down cake too. And it just never did anything for me. I, it's fun watching them take it out of the pan and you've got the little pineapple rings and the cherry in the center. I mean, that's fun, but taste wise, eh, no, not really. Lemon meringue pie. Oh my gosh. You don't like rhubarb? Really? Because he sends them to all the stars at Christmas. It's to die for. What? This is a thing? Okay, I got to look this up. Okay, I got to get out of this game now. How do I get out of this game? <laughs> I'm stuck in the fallout game. <laughs> Jello cake with Cool Whip. <gasps> Yum. Okay, look, we're going to, you guys, I got you started on cakes now. Now I'm getting hungry. Holy moly. All right. Um, I, I'm still back on Tom Cruise cake. Hold on. We're going to ask Google, what, what is Tom Cruise cake? Ooh, white chocolate coconut bunt cake from Doan's Bakery in California. Tom Cruise gifts the decadent cake to his closest friends for the holidays. Well, there's a picture of it here. It looks very dense in this picture. Is it really that dense? I don't know if I would like something that that's that dense, but um, maybe. It looks delicious. It really does. Jello cake is refreshing. It's 125 bucks. Well, I'm glad you have the secret recipe. Strawberry trifle. Now you guys are getting into some summer cakes here. Yeah, delicious. delicious oh my gosh um yeah <laughs> don't get me started on sweets <laughs> joanna did you ever get desserts from sweets to you in delaware they have since closed but there are desserts their desserts were excellent Ooh. yum so now i want to go make this cake i'm gonna have to talk her out of her secret recipe so i can make it chocolate latte mousse cake Yum. You guys. <laughs> Lemon jello cake for Richard. Oh, there you go. 
I need you need to get Richard in the kitchen, put aprons on both of you, and have him help you make the limoncello cake. That would be hilarious footage. I would pay to see that. Um, oh, honey, nobody has a sweeter tooth than I do, which is why I'm, my teeth are all falling out now. <laughs> now I'm hungry. Oh, sorry, Deborah. McDonald's for everybody. Yeah. I haven't been to McDonald's. Uh, I don't have a car anymore, so I don't go to McDonald's anymore. I never, I never go. I've been there once. They have a bike rack there, so I've been there a few times. Um, the chocolate cake is a winner. You made a face. I made a face. Oh, I have a text message. <gasps> Who's it from? Uh-oh. They're trying to sell me more stuff. Stop trying to sell me stuff. Oh, my God. Cho All right. What kind is this? I have to look this up. Chocolate. Where did you say? You said something about chocolate mousse. You know I love chocolate. Anything that goes the way of, like, dark chocolate is to die for. What did she say it was? What did you call it? Hold on. I can't go up. Why isn't it letting me go up? Chocolate latte mousse cake. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, chocolate. Yeah. All right. Thank you for repeating it. <laughs> Let's look here. Chocolate latte mousse cake. Chocolate latte mousse cake recipe. Chocolate mousse cake with chocolate ganache, no bake, no egg. Oh, I don't know if I want that. Chocolate coffee mousse cake. Oh, that's a YouTube video. So it has chocolate chip cookies, vanilla, heavy cream. So no calories. <laughs> None whatsoever. That, oh my God, this one looks incredible. Coffee, strong coffee. Okay. <gasps> Look at this, guys. 40 grams of dark chocolate in there. OMG. Mine would probably not look like that. It'd probably come out like soup. <laughs> 40 grams of butter. So what does that convert to silver stitches? If I want to... If I were, I'm here in the U.S. and I need 40 grams of dark chocolate. What is that? How do I convert that? Or 40 grams of butter. Oh, I know. I won't find your recipe on YouTube. Jo Joanna, you and I'll get together and I'm, we'll exchange recipes. 10 grams of cocoa powder. 30 grams of flour. See, I don't know what all this gram stuff is. Can they convert it to uh, English, please? 80 milliliters of strong hot coffee. I know what that is. I know what milliliters are. 70 grams of condensed milk. 90 grams of white chocolate. That's a lot of chocolate in here. Your math is terrible. Two ounces? Okay. Yeah, I would definitely have to convert this recipe, but man, uh, it looks good. There's a, a dark chocolate layer, a regular chocolate layer, and a white chocolate layer. Could you just die? Grams is English. Is it? Yeah, but in, in Europe, in the UK, you guys weigh stuff. Like you'll say, I need 30 grams of flour because you're weighing it. We just say a cup of flour. Just a cup of flour. Um, so I don't know. You're, it's probably smarter to weigh your stuff than it is to just use a cup of something, but that's what we do here in the U.S. Um, anyway, I'll figure it out. <laughs> I'll watch one of those great British baking shows and figure it out. Could you see me with that recipe? They give you the recipe. That, you know how they always give the middle one is that recipe that you got to follow, but you've never done it before. 
So I'd pull up that recipe and it would go 30 grams of dark chocolate. Okay. I'd have to pull up Google. How much is 30 grams of dark chocolate? Doesn't say. It doesn't say. It's not telling me. <laughs> okay. It's 152 calories and 30 grams of dark chocolate. So it's not a lot of dark chocolate. Oh, an ounce is 28 grams. Oh, that hell, that's helpful. So it's like two ounces, which is what 1.1 ounce. Oh, Mickey says is one point. It says 28 grams is um, in an ounce. So, all right. So I would just use two, uh, two ounces of dark chocolate. But the darker it gets, the less it weighs or something. The Wait a minute. I don't know. I'm just looking. The more sugar it has... The less, wait a minute, the darker the chocolate, the less sugar. Is that right? Because I have to, hi, Tink Tink, how are you? 220 grams equals one cup. Oh, y you guys are blowing my mind with all these stats here. <laughs> I keep meaning to make pancakes. Oh, let's stop with the food. Okay, because <laughs> two more grams equals about point one. What? Okay. Gotcha. all these cars on my block for today did they all go to church i didn't go to church who went to church today we all went to the church of rebecca what's what's rebecca spending money on today we do not have sticks of butter in the uk we have blocks of butter oh my god i am all for blocks of butter you could put the bigger the better <laughs> i love butter uh, give me a block of butter, yeah. Uh, well, then how do you measure it? How do you how do you measure the butter silver stitches? Do you have to do it by weight? I want a block of butter. I feel like I'm being gypped here. <laughs> okay, my cat has been sitting in the window this entire live. I don't know why. She knows she can come in if she goes to a different window. But she's just been sitting here staring at me. Pearl. She's such a cutie. So you do it by weight. I would totally fail as a baker over in the UK. We're in ch cake church. <laughs> yes, we are. <laughs> I'm going to want cake for lunch today. I'll see if I can pack a block of butter in my luggage for you. Oh, there you go. <laughs> like, are they big blocks? Remember we used to, do you remember government cheese? Do they still make government cheese? The big blocks of cheese that we used to get. My mom used to come home with that government cheese. That stuff was the best. Oh, my God. Y'all don't know what I'm talking about, government cheese. But anyway, I could, I, I'm like Joanna. I leave my butter out. I don't refrigerate my butter oh i mean most of it i do but if i i'll take a stick out and i'll put it in the butter you know and i leave it out and this morning when i made went to eat my toast or when i went to put butter on my toast i could tell that spring had arrived <laughs> because my butter wasn't hard as a rock thank god long suffering said expect a stormy money for you know who expect a stormy money I don't know what she's talking about. 
stormy money. Does this have to do with Donald Trump? <laughs> it's too hot to leave butter out there. Oh, yeah. In Florida, it would melt. Here, it doesn't melt. No. Monday. Oh, stormy Monday for you. Oh, got it. Okay. I get it. It's a Donald Trump reference. <laughs> I do, I do know what government cheese is. Tammy knows what government cheese is. Yay, Tammy. <laughs> my mom would, we weren't poor, but we would come home. My mom would come home with government cheese. I don't know where she got it from. But we always had some of that in the fridge. It makes fantastic macaroni and cheese, fantastic grilled cheese. I don't, I don't think they do it anymore, but we used to have a surplus of cheese in this country. We would, the government would give it away. <laughs> you never heard of government cheese? Did I still make that? Let me see. I can ask Google. What is government cheese? Yes, that's it. it that's government cheese. It would come in these huge blocks. <laughs> they still make it. Government cheese. <laughs> How funny. Government cheese caves? No, uh stop it. There's a cheese cave, a government cheese cave in Missouri. I've got to go here. Stop. Inside Missouri Cheese Cave, why does the U.S. government store cheese there? Seriously, look. Okay, we're visiting this place on the way to the retreat. We're going to the government cheese factory <laughs> underground cave. <laughs> oh, my God. Is it like Velveeta? Uh, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Inside Missouri Cheese Cave, why does the U.S. government store billion pounds of dairy? I don't know. Oh, goodness. Hold on, guys. So this says, in the U.S., Missouri is known for having many caves, having approximately 7,500 shelters. Missouri became famous for being the cave state. It has commercial caves that attract visitors such as Fantastic Caves, Merrimack Caves. Unbeknownst to many, Missouri is also known home to caverns filled with cheese. <laughs> Does Crashly know that she, there's cheese hiding underneath her house? Deep within the Ozark Mountains heart under Springfield made of converted limestone mines. The caves are perfectly kept at 36 degrees Fahrenheit to give an ideal environment for storing stockpiles of government owned cheeses. What? <laughs> I swear. I'm going to one of these cheese caves. I tell you. It says it all started in the 1970s when the U.S. suffered from a national dairy shortage, which was made worse by 30% inflation on dairy products. In response to the economic crisis, President Jimmy Carter decided to spend money on the dairy industry to encourage dairy production. Many dairy products were converted to cheese because they have a longer shelf life. By the early 18, 1980s, the government owned more than 500 million pounds of cheese. What the hell? <laughs> Who knew this stuff? <laughs> I never knew this. <laughs> oh, my God. There's cheese caves, you guys. I got to go here. In the years that followed, the demand for cheese declined, but the production rate remained the same as the government continued to support dairy producers. As of 2019, the collection comp comprises almost 1.4 billion pounds of surplus cheese in the U.S. Well, we're going to go to a government cheese. Tia, you want to go with me? <laughs> we got to go to a cheese cave. I'm telling you. Tea is coming with me. We're going to the cheese cave, right? 
it's 1230, guys. I got to get ready because I'm going to watch today. All right. I'm wearing my, my hat. My hat. I will let you guys know how it went. Um, if you don't see me around for game night tonight, you'll know it went well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's, Tia and I are going to go to the cheese cave. We are going to find a cheese cave and we are going to go to a cheese cave. Last time Tia and I took that drive, we were going to go to Leavenworth and see if there was any guys that wanted to like have pen pals in the prison. But um, this time we'll just go get, uh, we'll go to a cheese cave. Yeah. <laughs> You want pictures of my date? Oh my God. No, mm -mm. no, <laughs> no evidence. I don't want any evidence. Uh, -uh. cause this might not be a, I don't know. We'll see. It's like a big ball of twine. This is just weird. I know. I know. All right, guys. Thank you for giving me thumbs up. I know there's 33 of them out there at least. And I will see you guys tomorrow in crafting and crime daily. Have a wonderful day, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Just go to the Cheesecake Factory. Yeah. <laughs>